Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to replace the battery of 13 inch MacBook Pro 2015. So the first thing is that you need to make sure that you drain all the battery from your MacBook first. Drain it to zero so that there won't be any problem when you try to remove the battery and replace it with a new one. So make sure that you drain it to zero, then you're good to go. Again, this is a MacBook Pro 2015. It's 13 inch. And to be honest here, I already removed the cover of my MacBook. The reason why I removed it, because um, I bought these. This is the battery replacement. And they say A1582. And mine, you can see here, they say A1502. So I'm afraid that I bought the wrong battery. That's why I open it to see if it's exactly the same or different. But it's actually the same because when I bought these, they say it would fit with A1582 and A1502 as well. And I cannot put it back in because if you take a look at my battery here, this one almost blown. It's very swollen. So I need to replace it immediately. So again, you may know the drill, how to remove the screw here. I have the link in the description below. You can buy this from Taobao, the Chinese website. Or you can buy it from Amazon or to be even safer, you can buy it from iFixit. I have placed all the three links in the description. The prices also will be different. I bought this from Taobao. It only costs about $40 but it would be more expensive if you buy it from iFixit. If you live in the US, that would be the best choice to choose. But I don't live in the US, so I cannot buy it from iFixit. They don't ship to my country, so I have no choice but to buy from Taobao from China. And when I bought these, they also comes with these two th screwdrivers. These are Pentelope screwdrivers for removing the screws here. I already removed that. So the next thing you do is you have to remove all the speakers first. One here, one here. So again, they give you these two screws. So the smaller one, you already use it to remove the cover. Now the bigger one, you can remove these screws here. So start from this side. So there are three screws for the left speaker. Also three screws as well for the right speakers. Okay, now done. And the next step, which is very important, is that you need to detach the battery. It's right here. So peel this first. And here, you need to detach this. So unfortunately, I cannot find any plastic tool. I would recommend you use plastic tool instead of this. I use the tweezers, but I put plastic in front of it. Now it's out. Next you have to remove this cable. This is the trackpad cable. Also another thing to note is that in order to remove the battery you need adhesive removal. And if you don't have adhesive removal, just like in my case, this is not actually adhesive removal. I do some research and I found out that you can also use the alcohol but make sure it is more than 95% alcohol. If you buy the alcohol from the market or from the pharmacy, it's usually only 70% alcohol. The other 30% is water. That is something you mustn't buy because it may destroy the motherboard as well. Make sure if you buy the alcohol from the pharmacy or any other drugstore, make sure you ask them for the 95 or 97 or even 100% alcohol. Then you're good to go. In my case here, this is 97% alcohol, so it will work. And with this alcohol, it makes the removing process much easier. Now make sure that you remove or place your speakers aside like that. And your trackpad and keyboard cable, you just leave it up like that. Now you can see I placed the plastic sheet in the middle to protect my MacBook screen. Because I'm using the alcohol, we just want to make sure that it's protected. 
it should be noted that I already injected some alcohol under the battery here and you have to wait for about 10 to 20 seconds before you use the prior tool to remove the battery and if you ask me why I didn't show you the part where I removed the speakers and the trackpad and keyboard cable as well as the injection of the alcohol under the left battery cells it was because there was some error with my camera for some reason it stopped filming that part I didn't know why I only know it after I checked the video after the whole process has been completed so big apology for that Now you can see with the help of the alcohol, you can pry the battery cell out easily like that. Now we're done with the left battery cells, let's move on to the right battery cells. Now we need to inject some more alcohol into the right battery cells. And you should wait for about 10 or 20 seconds before you start prying it out. Try the other one. Now you can see with the alcohol, it just makes the removing process very easy. Now it's time to remove the last screw that attached the battery to the board. So there's one here. Now it's time to remove the two middle battery cells. Again, we need to uncheck some alcohol into the middle of the two battery cells. Make sure to inject just enough alcohol but not too much to prevent any spillage to other part of the computer chips and leave it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now because the gap between the cell is so small I need to use this card here. You can use any plastic card, make sure it's thin enough. Okay, now we're done here. You can remove it successfully. Here is the battery. Make sure you put it aside, somewhere safe. You can see each of the battery cell has a lot of adhesive. Now place it somewhere safe. Now the next step is that you need to remove the remaining adhesive before you place the new battery in. Because if you leave it like that, the new battery will not stick well into its case. Now we have cleaned all the remaining adhesive, it's time to put in the new battery. Here is the new battery. We have to peel out the blue plastic sticker first. Make sure you align it correctly with the holes there. Now it's time to put the screw back in. Now it's time to peel this film. Now it's time to plug in the trackpad and keyboard cable back. 
Make sure to plug in gently but firmly, make sure it's snug into place. And remember this cable is for both the trackpad and the keyboard. If for some reason only your trackpad works and your keyboard stop working, make sure you come back here and unplug and replug again. This happened to me, so just unplug it and replug and you test it first before you put the cover back in. Now it's time for the speakers. We'll start with the right speaker first. And now the left speaker. Now plug in this cable back in. Now it's time to plug in the battery cable. Now it's done. It's time to put in the cover. Now it's done. It's time to open the MacBook and check the battery. So the battery is at 0%, we need to plug in the cable. So I plug in the cable here. Let's check the status of the new battery. Go to about, system report, power. You can see the battery here. It says full charge capacity is 7,088 milliamp and condition normal. And you can use the other app called coconut battery to check the status as well. You see the design capacity from Apple is only 6,559 milliamp. But this battery that I just installed, the full charge capacity is up to 7,088 milliamp. So it's more than from Apple. And the manufacture date is, it has just been manufactured. It's on the 14th of April, 2020. The status a good battery, but I'm not sure if it's a good battery, but we'll find out. We'll see what happens in the future. Hopefully it lasts long as the battery from Apple. I will keep you posted about this new battery here. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.